Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to be discussing about convertible bonds. So think about, uh, we discussed that uh, concept in the previous lectures that the company's firms are there to accumulate uh, asset or increase their asset base. And for that they need the capital or they need the money. Okay? And to raise the money uh, requirement, um, they issue different kinds of uh, securities say stocks, bonds, convertible bonds, warrants. So now we know about these stocks that okay you know stocks are risky you know the price may go down up and whatnot. And we know about the fixed income security like regular bonds. The regular bonds they're gonna receive the fixed uh, income okay. So whether the stock price goes down or up it's not affected you're gonna get whatever uh, bond uh, agreement is, is there with the company at, uh, whatever its value. Now can we combine these two concepts together? So if we try to combine these two concepts together of a regular bond and a common stock, we arrive at something called convertible bond. The convertible bond is simply means that you can convert the convertible bond into shares of the company at any time. Okay? And uh, how are you going to convert? Well, there is some conversion price. You can, uh, one can calculate that, okay, the stock is traded at uh, uh, say uh, $40, then uh, convertible bond or uh, the price at which the bond will be converted to a stock would be let's say different price let's say it's $60 for example. Okay. If, we, if we wanna talk about the value of the convertible bond how it in, you know um, how it behaves or how it increases or decreases as per the value of the firm. Uh, so let's talk about uh, first the value of a regular bond. So whether the value of the firm is uh, you know is going up or down, the value of the bond, it, it regular bond will be paid in full and it is constant. Okay. Only case is there when the company defaults or gets bankrupt then it's there is no value. Otherwise if the value is increasing bond regular bond value is, is constant that's a regular bond. And if we talk about in terms of a stock then the stock value if the if the company value is rising the stock value typically rises okay until or unless it is you know in weird cases if the stock is manipulated uh, that's a different scenario. Um, so now uh, think about that you have converted all your uh, convertible bonds to common stocks now. So your value of the investment will rise as the value of the firm rise because it's in turn the value of the uh, common stock rises. Okay? So if we try to con uh, combine these two graphs together, we came up uh, with this graph where you know uh, up to the point you have uh, just the bond then its value is constant but after you have converted to stock your value of the investment start rising. So we see the whole graph for the convertible bond value it will come look like this initially it is constant and then after conversion it starts uh, incrementing. And if we try to plot the uh, convertible bond price versus uh, price of common stock, that graph would, looks like this. So initially the bond price, you know, you bought the bond and uh, it is constant, okay, till almost the point where, uh, where the price uh, almost the value is constant uh, till the point your um, convertible bond price is 
equal to the price of the common stock. Okay. And after the convertible bond price, you know, it crosses or goes uh, beyond that. Uh, and you have converted, um, you know, convertible price is nothing but you have converted uh, your uh, the price at which you will convert your bond to stock and if um, you have converted your bonds then it acts like a call option okay your convertible bond acts like a call option okay and we discussed about what is call option in previous lectures so overall value of your investment rises what is the conversion ratio conversion ratio is nothing but uh, it tells you that uh, what are the or how many shares can you convert out of one bond so if the conversion ratio let's say is 55 it simply means that uh, you can convert or you can have 55 shares out of one bond here bond is convertible bond all right now let's talk about an example let's say hypothetical company x it issues 30 million in three year convertible bonds with 5% yield and 25% premium. And let's assume that the X stock is trading at $50 at the time of issuing the bonds. So we can calculate the annual interest payment. We just simply multiply uh, 30 with the 5%. Okay, so we just simply multiply 30 million. 30 million with the interest rate. Okay. So we get 1.5 million annual interest payment. So in three years, how much uh, payment we would be making? Simply 1.5 multiplied by 3. Okay. Now let's talk about. Uh, the price at which the bond can be converted okay so you see the we have the 25 percent premium and the stock is uh, trading at 50 dollars so if we multiply 50 with 1.25 that will give us the uh, conversion price okay that at um, this price we can convert one you know bonds into shares okay now let's assume that in some time in future the x stock rises to value 75 dollar per stock or per share so how much profit uh, are you gonna be making just by you know converting uh, the bonds at convertible price well, it's simply uh, that 75 minus 62.5. So you see 12.5 dollar profit per share you have made. Or whatever share number of shares you got out of your uh, convertible bonds. All right. Now we are very happy, you know, what we can do with these convertible bonds. Now let's talk about their the their pros and cons. First of all, the issuing company has right to force for the forced conversion, even though if you don't want to convert, but uh, they have the right. If the company is struggling uh, to make payments, they can convert your convertible bonds to shares. So you got to be very very careful here that uh, you want to buy convertible bonds for which company so you definitely would not want to uh, buy 
convertible bonds for a very um, too volatile company let me put it that way but anyways in general if the company is too volatile you wouldn't want to invest your money there there's a huge risk Second point about convertible bonds, these are complex securities. See, they are combining the concept of a regular stock and bond. So essentially the whole thing becomes complex. You got to analyze uh, how the stock uh, price uh, is moving. So a stock analysis. Or technical analysis uh, and then you got to uh, put the uh, principles or analyze bonds so bond analysis okay so it becomes uh, quite challenging sometimes when uh, you know billions of dollars of money uh, is in line for investment in these complex securities nevertheless as we saw earlier that uh, uh, we can take advantage of, uh, you know, fixed income security, bond, and uh, the high growth, aggressive uh, investment stocks together. So essentially, convertible bonds, they limit our downside risk. What if the stock price uh, went, uh, say in the previous example, our stock price was uh, $50. Now, what if uh, stock price goes to $25? Downside risk. So, if we have convertible bond, we will still uh, get the get the money out of whatever is the par value of the convertible bond. So, we learned about uh, some basic uh, concepts about convertible bonds. If you wanna go dig deep into it. Um, keep tuning into Lee Professor. I'm planning to do more lectures on on bond valuation bonds. And thank you for liking and subscribing, Lee Professor on YouTube.